Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Miss Amira Samir, a mathematics teacher. If you like the content of my channel, don't forget to press the like button and press subscribe to receive all the new lessons. Unit number six, data distribution. Lesson number one, data and statistical questions. Statistical questions. A statistical question is a question that has many different or variable answers. Statistics is a mathematical study that involves collecting, analyzing, and interpreting data that changes. يعني إيه كلام ده؟ أسأل سؤال بس علشان أجاوبه لازم أعمل بحث مع ناس كتير عشان أطلع الإجابة. فبعمل collecting للداتا وبعد كده أعمل لها analyzing بحللها وبعد كده أبدأ إن أنا أفسرها وأشوف إيه التغييرات اللي فيها من هنا لهنا. يبقى ده statistical question. Non-statistical question is a question that has exact answer. يعني direct question. بس ألك uh, what's your name, uh, how old are you, and كده. For example, how old are you? This is non-statistical. I'll ask you how old are you. You will say five years old, twelve years old, uh, nineteen years old, and so on. But if I'm asking how old are the students in your school, this is statistical question. Why? Because we have to collect the data from all the students in the school and then analyze the data and then understand the data and represent the data. يبقى ده مش سؤال أنا بسأله لحد direct أنا بعمل بحث علشان أقدر أطلع سن بتاع ال students في السكول. Identify which questions are statistical or non-statistical. What are students' favorite color? In this question, I have to make a survey and ask students, what's your favorite color? Someone will say red, someone will say green, someone will say uh, white. So this is statistical question. Number B, what time did the students in the class get up this morning? Some says 6.30, some says 6.35. Some say 60, 45, and so on. So this is statistical. I have to ask the, the students and collect the data. See, do you like the red color? You will say yes or no. Is this is statistical? No, this is non-statistical. This is direct question. D, how many books have you read last year? This is a direct question for you. You will say I read... Uh, uh, five five uh, books uh, or seven books uh, or I didn't read any books. So this is uh, non-statistical. E, what are the students' favorite game in your class? So I have to ask one by one, what's your favorite game? So each uh, student will say his favorite game. So this is statistical. F, what is the name of your school? This is direct question. You will say my school name is and say the name of the school. This is non-statistical. Doesn't need to ask uh, a lot of the uh, students. G, how many sisters does Amira have? So I'll go and ask Amira, how many sisters do you have? She will say one, two, three. So this is non-statistical. H, how many emails? do the students in the class write per week? So I have to ask students, how many email do you write per week? And each one will say a different number. So this is statistical. I, what do the students in grade six prefer to eat for lunch? So each one prefer a different meal. So this is statistical. Each one will say a different meal. Is the real type of questions be hadidly answer? For example, do students in your class have pets? I just want to know if they have pets or no. How many have pets? How many no? So just uh, I will ask students who have pets. 13 will say we have and four says we don't have. Just I want to get number of students who have pets and students who don't have pets. But if I'm asking, how many pets do students in your class have? 
عايز اعرف كل واحد عنده هاو ماني باتس فهنا السؤال الانسر بتاعته تبقى محدده اكتر the number line shows the number of pets يعني هنا zero pets one pet two pets three pets and so on اقدر افهم ايه ان عندي هنا one two three four students ما عندهمش ولا pet two students each one has one pet two students each one has two pets one student has four pets One, two, three, four, five students. Each one has six. One student has eight pets. Two students and them ten pets. Megid and his friends went a trip to Sharm Sheikh. Write two questions. Could Megid ask his friends, such as one of them is a statistical and another one is not a statistical. So Megid will ask his friends. Two questions. واحد فيهم يبقى statistical and the other one is not statistical. If he asks his friends, how many hours does it take to reach Sharm el-Sheikh? يا ترى السؤال ده statistical ولا not statistical? Of course, it's non-statistical. Why? لأن بس هو هي بيسألوا على the distance اللي أخدوها وال time اللي أخدوها عشان يسافروا Sharm el-Sheikh. حتى لو هم group of friends فهم أخدوا نفس the time عشان يوصلوا Sharm el-Sheikh. What is the favorite activity to do in Sharm el-Sheikh? So everyone will say his favorite activity. Someone say diving, someone say snorkeling, someone say walking, someone say swimming, and so on. So everyone has his favorite activity. So this is statistical question. طيب إحنا كده خدنا في two types of questions: statistical and non-statistical. طيب خلينا نأخذ types of statistical بقى. يعني خلاص احنا نانا statistical ده direct وبنجاوب عليه direct وخلاص طيب ال statistical questions بقى ممكن ال answer بتاعته تبقى ايه numerical data or categorical data numerical data ليها اسم تاني اسمه quantitative data جاية من quantity كمية و numerical يعني بتتكتب على شكل numbers categorical or qualitative جاية من ال quality وبتبقى بوصف بيها حاجة طيب نشوف examples. It's uh, collected in numbers. For example, the height, the weight, the age, the house number. كل دول I can write it in numbers, but categorical like the color, the sex, the eye color. This uh, called the categorical data. Determine whether the result from each question would give you numerical data or categorical data. All of these are statistical questions. بتحتاج إن أنا بعمل survey و collecting للداتا. But I want to know if it numerical or categorical. A. How many letters do the students in your class have in their first name? Like my name is Amira. It's five letters. I'm asking each one about how many letters in his name. So this is the numerical data. What are the favorite colors of students in your class? Someone will say red, some say uh, uh, yellow, blue, black. So this is categorical. I write it in words, not in numbers. See? What type of movies do students in your class like the best? So someone like the horror film, adventure, romantic. So this is categorical. D. What color eyes do students in your class? Someone black, someone blue, someone brown, and so on. So this is categorical. Number E, how many people do the students in the class have in their families? So the number of members in the family. كل عيلة فيها كم member كم واحد. So this is numerical data. F. What TV shows do students in your class like? They prefer which show? They will say the name of the show. So this is categorical. Jean, what are the score on all of your math tests that this marking period? So he's asking about your marks in the math test. So this is numerical. H, 
how many pets do the students in your class have? He wants to know the number of pets. So this is numerical. What color is the baby's eyes? So he's asking about the baby's eyes. So this is categorical. baby. Jane, the type of vegetables in the recipe ingredients. The vegetable, maybe tomato, maybe carrot, maybe any type of vegetables. So this is categorical. Okay. What types of subjects do students in the class like the best? The subject, the preferred subject. Yani mathematics, or science, or Arabic. So this is categorical, not numerical. L, the number of chairs in the room. This is numerical. The steps that we did, خلاص إحنا جمعنا ال data وعرفنا إيه نوع ال data ممكن تبقى statistical أو non statistical ممكن تبقى categorical أو ممكن تبقى numerical. طيب دلوقتي إزاي نعمل representation لل data اللي إحنا جبناها يعني number line ده مكتوب عليه number of books. يعني عندي هنا three students didn't read any book. هنا عندي two students each one read two books. هنا عندي one, two, three, four students. Each one read three books. One student read five books. Andy, one, two, three, four, five students read six books. One student, بس هو, he can read eight books last month. في, two students can read nine books. So from the graph, you can guess statistical questions that you asked the students in your class as number one how many books did you read last month so i will ask and each one will say his number of books two the number of students that were surveyed i asked how many one were surveyed how many students i will count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18. Three, the number of students read six books. The number of books, six. Fee, how many students read six books last month? One, two, three, four, five. Number three, the number of students did not read any books. Three. Number five. The number of students read three books or more. At the A L three books or more. Hamil add the kulal values di. Homal idri or three books or more than three books. Then the bar graph. A whole bar graph. A bar graph display individual data values along a horizontal axis and use the bar to, to represent the frequencies of each individual value. بعملها على شكل bars كده. Bar واقفين كده bars كده. وساعات ال bars دي بتبقى على فكرة uh, horizontal. يعني ما تتخضوش لو لقيتوه horizontal or vertical عادي جدا. بتكلم عن إيه في ال bar chart دي? The favorite type of book to read. إيه أنواع ال books اللي ممكن يقروها? أنا سألت على ال horror وعلى ال fiction. Romantic, adventure, and comic. We have the number of students here. يعني for example, the horror. لو طلعت في الهورر كده وبصيت لقيت في five prefer to read the horror books. F اللي هي fiction. في هنا لو لقيت هنا number three prefer إن هم يقرأوا the type ده from books. We romantic. في two prefer to read the romantic books. وهنا ال purple هلاقي هنا ال three ده ال adventure book the three prefer to read adventure book ال C هنا ده comic X prefer to read the comic books so from the graph you can guess a statistical question that you asked to the students in your class for example the number of students that were surveyed أنا سألت قد إيه هعمل adding five plus three plus two plus three plus six to know the number of students that I asked. سألت كم واحد بعمل add. Number two, the number of students who prefer adventure book. Adventure هروح للتر A. في how many students prefer adventure? أطلع لغاية ما أوصل لل line three. 
the number of students who don't prefer horror books. عندي طريقتين يا إما أعمل add للنمبرز دي كلها يا إما أنا جبت ال number of students اللي أنا عملت لهم survey كلهم هم 19 هعمل minus اللي prefer ال horror book هم كانوا 5 يبقوا equals 14 يبقى دول اللي ما بيحبوش يقروا ال horror film يا إما أعمل add لدول يا إما أنا عندي ال number كله بتاع ال students كانوا 19 subtract ال 5 دول اللي بيحبوا ال horror Uh, books يبقى 14 يبقى دول the rest for the most preferred type of books ايه اكتر books preferred هو الكوميك from the opposite dot plot answer the following questions ال dot plot دي بتبين hours spent on homework per week يعني عدد الساعات اللي بيقضيها ال students per week to solve his homework Number A, write a statistical question. Do you have been asked to draw this dot plot? يا ترى إيه السؤال اللي أقدر أسأله اللي بي أنا عملت ال dot plot دي. The question is, how many hours do students spend doing homework per week? يا عدد الساعات اللي بيقضيها التلاميذ لعمل ال homework per week. B, how many people were surveyed? To know the number of people, you have to count the dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So the number of students, 25. How many students spent three hours on homework per week? At the E, Ado, three hours to solve the homework per week. This is the number of hours. يبقى اللي قعدوا three hours هما three students. B. How many students spent two hours or more? Two hours or more. مدام قال two hours يبقى أعد معي ال two hours. يا إما أعد دول كلهم يا إما أقول 25 minus اللي هما less than two. لو عدناهم هيطلعوا 19 students. How many students spent less than three hours? Less than three. Madam, L less than three. يب L three مش معايا. المرة اللي فاتت L two or more. يعني L two معايا or more. لكن هنا less than three يبقى مش هاخد معايا L three. هعد L two hours وال one hour وال zero. لو عدناهم هيطلعوا ten students. What is the statistical question that the students who collected the following data may have asked and mentioned the type of this data? Number one, this is the favorite candy. And this is the number of students. So the question could be, what is the student's favorite candy? What is the type of this question? It's a categorical. This is the types of fruits and this is the number of people. So I can say, what is the best fruit for people? And the type of question is a categorical data because I will say the type of fruit, not a number. See, this is the dot plot. And this number line show minutes to eat breakfast. الوقت قد ايه اللي هنحتاجه to eat the breakfast. So what is the question? I can say, how many minutes does it take students to eat breakfast? الوقت قد ايه اللي هيخدو ال students to eat breakfast? Well, type of the question is numerical data. Why? عشان انا هقول ال minutes and numbers. فده numerical data. This is your homework. Manasish Namal subscribe Ashanyu Sabuku Kulin new lessons. Thank you and goodbye.